Hi boys and girls, Miss House um, is here and I'm going to do a quick little mixed up sentence lesson slash video with you guys. So I want to show you guys what Miss House has. I'm going to send you guys um, a picture of what these all look like, but they're cards that have a word on them and they all have the same picture, okay, but they each have a different word on it. So they look like this. Okay, can you guys see all of those right there? So that's what they look like, and it's going to be your job to try to unscramble them and put them in a sentence. So right now, it's just a bunch of words, right? It's just a bunch of different words. So it's going to be our job to put them together to make them into a sentence, okay? So I'm going to do this one with you guys today. And then maybe you could try to create your own mixed up sentence at home with your family. Um, and this is just good practice because Miss House has a few of these that I'll throw in and that I'm going to want you guys to practice um, at home, okay? So the first thing I look for, I'm going to see if I can get this set up where you can see what Miss House is doing for work. Okay, so I'm going to move these. So you can see them, okay? So I'm going to put them right here. I know it's kind of hard to see them, but I'll walk you guys through what I'm doing. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to think of when we, move you closer now, there we go. When we have a sentence, the first thing that we want to look for is every sentence starts with a capital letter. So we need to find the word that has the first letter is uppercase or capitalized. So is this one uppercase or capitalized? No. How about this? Is that a capital S? Nope. Nope. <gasps> what about this? Is that a capital T? Does this word start with that? What is this word, boys and girls? Say it at home. It's a sight word. We all know it. It's the word the, okay? So this is our first word in our sentence. So I'm going to put it, maybe I'll slide these back, and I'm going to put it down here, and this is where we're going to start to make our sentence. So it's the blank. We need to think of which one comes next. Hmm. Before we do that, I want to show you guys one of these words has a punctuation mark at the end. So we know every sentence starts with a capital letter, but we also know that every sentence ends with some sort of punctuation, okay? So on this word, what do you guys see at the end? I see a sentence stopper. It's a period. That tells us that this is the end of our sentence. So this word, it's kind of like a puzzle. We know this would go all the way at the end of our sentence. Let's sound this word out together. It's part of the at family. I see the word at, so it's m at mat, okay? So we have the word the and mat in our sentence already, okay? We need to try to put the rest together. So the blank, hmm, the at, the sat, no, the on, no, what about this word? Cat. K at. The cat. Okay, that makes sense. The cat. <clears throat> the cat. On. The cat. The. The cat. Sat. Do you guys think that one makes the most sense? The cat. Sat. On. The mat. The cat sat on the mat. So we took all of these, they were just words, we put them together to make a sentence. So this is called um, mixed up sentences. We do these a lot. If you had Miss House for reading and all this year, we've done these a lot, okay? So this is just one of the ones that we will do together today. Um, if you would like to make some mixed up sentences at home, I would love to see the work that you guys are doing, okay? So 
in the future, I'm not going to go through this step by step with you guys. I'll probably just send a picture of the mixed up sentences and it's going to be your job to try to figure it out on your own with your family, okay? So the cat sat on the mat was this one. Usually the picture tells us a clue. Is that a picture of the cat sitting on the mat? Yeah, it is, okay? So um, next time I'll just send a picture of all the words and it's going to be up to you to unscramble it, okay? So I hope you guys have fun. Um, I hope you guys learned a little bit of something. So don't forget when we do mixed up sentences, there's some tricks that you can do. You can always look for the beginning. The first word is going to have its beginning letter. It's going to be capitalized or uppercase. And the last word is always going to have some sort of punctuation like a period at the end. If it's um, a sentence that asks a question, maybe it's a question mark. If it's someone really excited or if someone is yelling, maybe there's an exclamation mark, okay? So I hope you have fun. Um, this is a little bonus lesson with Miss House today, and I will see you guys back here tomorrow, okay? Bye, everyone.